Welcome back everyone in today's midday fix tips on applying flawless foundation, whether it's for your everyday look or for some of those holiday parties coming up. Elise Brill is owner of Lisi B Cosmetics and she's joining us to show us some tricks. Thank you so much for being here. It's Thank so good to meet you. Me, right? We've got your beautiful models here and yes, makeup is, you know, I think something that many of us love to learn more about. So for you're gonna sure. give us some tips on how we can improve and Absolutely. do it better. Okay. So this is Sammy and I wanted to start out with her and I wanted to talk about tinted moisturizer. Okay. A lot of women are used to using foundation, heavy foundation, mm -hmm. but with Sammy who's in college, she has a very, very active lifestyle. A tinted moisturizer is a great idea. It has SPF in it. And for those of you that don't know what a tinted moisturizer is, it's a moisturizer that just has a little color in it. Okay. So it'll just give the skin a little bit of glow. Okay. And I love anything that has a sun that has sunscreen in it okay and, and it probably has more of a natural look too right very natural yeah. and um, it's a new thing I have a lot of men buying sun um, tinted moisturizer mm, okay. because they want that moisturizer they want the sunscreen but they also just want a little bit of color on their skin okay so it's protecting your skin moisturizing your skin but also adding a little bit of color to yeah exactly all, all in one three in one three in one okay <laughs> beautiful beautiful <laughs> and this is Bonita. And for Bonita, Bonita has also a very active lifestyle and she's very busy at work, but she is not the type of person who's gonna walk in with a ton of makeup. So I was thinking a nice liquid foundation would be good for her. It's always nice to start out with a sponge and start out light. And the nice thing about foundation is you don't have to put so much on mm -hmm. and you can really spot applicated. So if you look at Bonita, she has no makeup on now. I'm just using a oh, very, wow. very tiny amount on. Okay. And then you could always add more. Okay. And I love to tell people, put it on in downward strokes. Okay. And then after it's all on, it's a great idea to take your sponge and to stipple it. Okay. And if you want to make the foundation a little bit thinner and you're not used to wearing a lot of foundation, you could also take like a spray bottle and just fill it up with water jewel mm -hmm. and spray the sponge. So you're not really saturating it so much, but what's gonna happen is it's just gonna spread the foundation and make it glide on without using too much. Okay, nice. And Bonita has beautiful skin because when you Gorgeous. said she has no makeup, I was no. like, oh, she doesn't have anything on already. Well, <laughs> I mean, all of you, but my None goodness. of our models today have on any face makeup. Oh, and wow. So, and look at their skin's gorgeous. <laughs> and all this right. is Sandy. And for Sandy, I'm gonna use a dewy finish. So a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between a matte finish and a dewy finish? So it's really about you asking yourself, what kind of finish do you want? Mm -hmm. So for Sandy, I'm gonna do a dewy finish. Same kind of principle, just and take. For, for folks who aren't familiar with a dewy finish, can you sure. just briefly explain what that is? Sure, so a dewy finish is gonna have a little sheen to it, whereas Bonita had on a complete matte finish. Okay. This is gonna have a sheen. People are afraid of a dewy finish because they're afraid it's gonna settle into their lines and kind of separate on the skin, mm -hmm. but it really depends on the foundation. So once again, start out with a very, very small amount, and then you can spot, I put a little too much on here, so I'm okay. gonna use a little bit less, and spot applicate it. And you can see that this has a nice, dewy, glowy finish to it, but this will not settle into any kind of lines on our face. Okay, very nice, very nice. And really a little foundation goes a long way, mm -hmm. and if, and always remember a little hint with foundation. When choosing color for foundation, we were always taught to match our neck mm -hmm. to our face, but really that's kind of passe, because if you think about it, your hands, your neck, your decollete, we have like oh, five yeah. different colors mm -hmm. going on. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, figure out what you want to match, but remember that when you apply foundation, it takes about a good five to 10 minutes for makeup to oxidize. So if you leave it on and then you think that you want a little bit more or a warmer color, you can always add more. And then what about powder? I mean, I, I was taught to, you know, you put the foundation on and then you put a powder on to yeah. kind of finish it. Is that necessary, do you well, think? Well, I love a powder <laughs> on top of a foundation, I have to say. Okay. I'm not a big fan of translucent powder mm -hmm. because it gets everywhere and I'm so practical and I, I always have clients, they'll buy translucent powder, it'll get all over their purse and everything. But I would love it if people checked out like a hydrating powder. Okay. So then it won't look heavy on the skin. Okay. And you could just see on this side, look what a finish this gives, and I, notice that I'm patting it into the skin. Okay. And this makes a big difference. Okay, all right. Yeah, I do love powder myself. All right, beautiful, beautiful Sandy. <laughs> and this is Tanya. Yes. <laughs> And for Tanya, I wanted to talk about a couple things. Um, it's nice, all of the models here today are wearing a primer, and people always ask me, is a primer necessary? The nice mm -hmm. thing about a primer is it's gonna act as a barrier between your skin and the foundation, mm. which will also help it not go into the pores, settle in, 
but it also helps the makeup stay on longer. Okay. So the cool thing about a primer is one little pump of a primer, okay. I mean a really tiny amount, okay. as you can see, mm -hmm. and you put that directly on the skin, it just blends right into the skin, there's no color to it, and then when you go to put on your foundation, it's gonna help it stay on. Okay, so it helps it stay on, but then you also said it, it protects the skin from the foundation as well. Exactly. Okay, we I want the foundation, that. but it's it's a nice thing to do. And I want to point out with Tanya and with all of us, a lot of times because of the sun, our skin is mm -hmm. not even, Jewel. So mm -hmm. most women, their forehead is darker than the rest oh, yeah. of their face. Mm -hmm. I have the same thing, even though I wear a hat and I try to do everything I'm supposed to do. So sometimes when I look at someone's skin, they might need two different kinds of foundations because especially the darker your skin, if you put a light foundation, it could look ashy, which is not a good yep, look on anybody. We don't want anybody. that. No. No. So <laughs> it's important to pick a foundation and try to blend it into the skin. Let me just, sorry, Tanya. Mm -hmm. just grab We've got to wrap up. So. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and just use a very, very small amount and okay. then pat it into the skin. Very nice, very nice. Well, thank you so much, Elise, and all of your beautiful models, all natural beauties. Truly, 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 thank you for being with us this thank afternoon. You for me. So for more information, if you like it, you can check out uh, LiseeB.com and she's also on social media. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.